let's talk about Thor and Hulk teaming up. Uh, so rumors are, and this is from a website called JoeBlow.com, that we might be seeing Thor and Hulk team up in Thor 3 Ragnarok. Um, now, what we've seen so far is that the report says that Thor 3 is set on a distant planet. So nobody's quite sure where this planet is, but Thor 3 is going to be set on this distant planet that is not Asgard or Earth. Planet Hulk. And that for some, that's, that's and that for planet some Hulk. reason, Thor will show up and uh, so will Hulk. So, yeah, now there's a lot of rumors out there it's going to be Planet Hulk, which if you ask me, you cannot have a Planet Hulk inside of said Thor movie. It just wouldn't make sense. You can't flesh out a story, the there proper story at least. There shouldn't be a third Thor movie to begin with. They're just I, I guess he did better, so why not just piggyback on Thor to make a Hulk movie? I mean they they're using they're making what, a, a Civil War movie within a uh, Captain America movie. That's a much well, bigger yeah, thing to squeeze into into one other person's movie. Yeah, but it makes sense what they're doing. The Marvel Universe is trying to create a overall, you know, a really big story arc that goes through phase one, two, three, four. Um, and they'd like to team their characters up, which makes sense. I mean, these characters, especially like Thor, wasn't as big of a box office hit as some of the other ones. But what was the best part of Avengers 1? Every, I mean, in my opinion, it was Thor and Hulk. The Either whether they were fighting each other or they were just kind of playing around joking with each other. Those two were some of the most fun we had with the Avengers, so why not throw them together? Now, the distant planet and it being Planet Hulk, I'm not quite sure about that. Like I said, it would just take a little bit much. Maybe you have some sort of, uh, of planet where, you know, maybe like some frost giants or fire giants. There's a lot of different giants out there. Or, or Loki is controlling this planet and he somehow gets Hulk and he's pitting them against other people for his own amusement. And then Thor shows up and, you know, tries to save the day. But there's a couple of ways this can go. So if you look at the, the story arc of Ragnarok, as I believe it's supposed to unfold in the comics, which is the end of the universe event, um, you have the nine realms are being plunged into darkness uh, because there's some big giant wolves come out and they eat the sun and the moon. And so darkness in all the nine realms, which is interesting. And then what happens after the nine realms are plunged into darkness is the Fenris wolf and Jormungand. Um, Fenris wolf is a giant wolf, as you can tell. And Jormungand is um, a giant, giant serpent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're released on Midgar. Now, again, I could see. So this distant planet might take the place of Midgar. I can see that happening. Um, instead of destroying Earth, which would bring all the superheroes probably into the story, they're just going to focus more on another planet. That way you can have Hulk and Thor, and you can have them doing their own thing, and it would make more sense not to have all the rest of the superheroes. Because think about it. If this was all happening on Earth, you have to have the Avengers come together. It, would, now they have it wouldn't work better otherwise. Stuff to do. Better stuff to do yeah, than okay, save the yeah. entire world. Save the entire universe. Yeah, why, why, why not? So, so after those two appear, uh, Jormungand... Uh, is poisoning the earth when he breathes apparently it poisons the earth and the sky and it just becomes a, a horrible horrible land and then we see the appearance of frost giants they show up on one ship and then you have loki leading some uh, of the inhabitants of hell h-e-l is how it was described not h-e-l-l -L, but i'm guessing they're meaning the same place um they yeah, all show up it's vaguely similar yeah yeah, and then you have the fire giants show up as well, Mus Muspelheim, and uh, these names are very hard to pronounce. I wish they weren't. Um, so those all those forces come together, and they make up the evil side. Well, then on the good side of the Ragnarok story, you have gods. I'm guessing that's the Asgardians. Uh, you have other leftover giants. You have dwarves. You have demons, which is kind of interesting. Maybe those are the, the guardians of hell, and they're kind of angry that Loki took a whole bunch of their people out of hell. I, I, I don't quite know why demons would join the good side, but apparently in this well, story I, they do. I, hmm. I wonder, I don't know how it plays out in Thor the comics, but I wonder if those might be how the Thor comics treat the um, the other group of gods. There was like, there's the Asgardians, and then there's some other like rival group of gods that show up in the, the myths at some point that huh. kind of go back and forth that uh, they, they fight at some points and then they make peace at some points so maybe that's them and, yeah, and they would want to save themselves from 
total destruction, so they might team up for that reason. Yeah, well, th- th- that that makes sense. And then you also on the good side, you have both dark and light elves apparently join the forces of Thor and Odin. So a big battle royale is supposed to happen, which would be pretty cool. And I could see Hulk fitting very well in there. Maybe instead of Odin showing up, you have Hulk and Thor showing up on this distant planet to to battle this huge army of evil forces that is about to start invading the Nine Realms. That, that would kind of make sense. And uh, pretty much in the story, uh, everybody's supposed to die. Yeah. Uh, Thor kills Jormungand and then just dies from the poison. Odin and Fenris Wolf fight a lot, and then Fenris Wolf uh, swallows Odin whole. And then one of so- uh, Odin's other sons, because apparently there's other sons of of Odin, which lot, haven't actually. been pictured. I think. Which haven't been pictured in the, the films, but uh, yeah, in North mythology, there's definitely plenty, and I believe in the comics he has brothers and stuff like that. Um, one of his brothers uh, rips open Fenris with, like, rips his jaw off, and that causes Fenris Wolf to explode. Or no, I'm sorry, that causes, uh, it, 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 he fights Muspelum, and Muspelum the fire giant explodes and destroys all of the Nine Realms. So, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks for everybody. But uh, I imagine that is probably what the movie's going to be focused on. This distant planet they're talking about is where the battle will happen. And, you know, we'll see all the fun stuff flow down, uh, throw down there. Now, during my research on Ragnarok, there, I also came across another one. There's a character actually called Ragnarok, which I wouldn't be too surprised if they incorporated this into the film instead of maybe this universe-ending event. Because Ragnarok in the comic books is actually, he pops up in uh, Civil War. At some point during the founding of the Avengers, uh, Hank Pym gets a hold of a a hair of Thor. And Thor has disappeared during the Civil War events. And he uses that to clone a, like a cybernetic clone is what they call it. Which is kind of weird to me. I don't don't, don't know how cybernetic clone works. Cyborg because they couldn't get all the parts. Yeah, and so I believe it's actually Reed Richards, Hank Pym, and Iron, Tony Stark come together to clone this guy because they're all on the pro registration side. And, and you so have him come out and Thor. he fights a lot. They do clone Thor. Um, and uh, in, in the Civil War series, you actually have Thor, uh, or the Ragnarok Thor. He kills a couple people, and, and you know, uh, some bad stuff was happening. Like Reed Richards actually has to take him back and reprogram him. And then in the comics, you find out that this Reed Richards or that Hank Pym or what if some one of them, I think it was Hank Pym, it turns out to be a scroll. And uh, yeah, so not good times there. But I can see the incorporation of another Thor. That might be an interesting way to do it because the, the Ragnarok Thor is apparently a lot more powerful than the regular Thor. So maybe we have Hulk and Thor teaming up to kill this Ragnarok Thor. Um, and prevent him from spreading chaos across the universe. So that could work as well. Now, how Hulk is going to get to this other planet, I have no clue. Just uh, jumps. no clue. He jumps. He could jump. He was in the Quinjet, but I do believe they said something about the Quinjet being like found in the ocean somewhere and no sign of Hulk. So he could be doing that. Um, I mean, Thor yeah, can move I, between I, I the various... The yeah, Thor can move between the various places. He should be able to take Hulk with him, couldn't he? Yeah, but... I guess they could they could put that in there. Maybe okay. Hulk didn't really disappear. He just went with Thor to Asgard because the Asgardians are a lot sturdier of a people and probably could stand up to uh, Hulk's beat downs a little bit better. Or they could they could play some soothing music. Yeah, there you go. You know, but I, I, yeah, and the whole Scarlet. Uh, I'm sorry, Black Widow and uh, Hulk romance thing. I wonder how that's going to play out. But this is the first real thing we've heard about what's going to happen with Hulk. Now, Mark Ruffalo has signed on to be do, I believe, six movies, possibly more with the Marvel Studios. And we have not heard about a solo movie for him. So I'm imagining it's just going to be a bunch of appearances in other movies similar to jumping in with Thor. Uh, I don't quite see how they'd fit him in if they're not planning on doing any other um, solo movies until they get to the Infinity War. So I guess this is their way of kind of squeezing him in there. You know, what might also be cool is if he's like floating around space and uh, he runs into the Guardians of the Galaxy, but of James Gunn, the director of Guardians 2, says, no, that's not going to happen, which I think that might be cool. But I, I just see this being a really interesting way of teaming these two up. 
again, two of the most charismatic characters when you put them together really worked well on screen. So, hey, give them their own movie, and I think we see box office gold. But let me know what you think. Are you excited to see a Hulk and Thor team-up movie? What do you think the storyline will be about? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Worst of My Face on Twitter. Plus Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us.